students, how are you? I hope that all of you watched the English class on weekdays channel and it was the fourth class. After the first class and second class, I sent you some voice messages and some screenshots. And I believe that you are thorough with the main points and we will once again go to the main points we discussed. And by the way, I would like to make these videos as short as possible because some of you find it, may find it very difficult to download them. So I will try to make it as short as possible. Okay, now let us pass on to the points that we discussed. Adventures in a Venue Tree. The hero, who is the hero? The hero, the boy. He was living in Daradun. He was living in Daradun with his grandparents, his grandfather and grandmother. And there in Daradun, in the garden of grandfather, there is a big banyan tree, a very big banyan tree. And this banyan tree was under the control of the boy because grandfather was 65 years old and he cannot climb on the branches of the tree. So this was under his control, under the control of the boy. And this banyan tree had a number of branches. It has got a lot of, a lot of roots. And climbing on the branches of the tree and climbing on, see, on, see, climbing on the roots, it was a very joyful experience for the boy. See, in the banyan tree, from the banyan tree, he got a new friend. Who was that friend? A gray squirrel. Was that person? A gray squirrel. Arching its back. In the beginning, it was afraid of the boy because the squirrel thought the boy was very harmful. But later, it became very friendly friendly to the boy. It started taking food from the hands of the boy. And it started even searching in the pockets of the boy. Searching for some food items. Days passed on and it was spring season. And during spring season, the banyan tree was with full of figs, fig fruits. It was with full of fig fruits. See, it was completely, see almost all its branches had fig Fruits and birds of all kinds flocked into its branches. Birds of all kinds came to the branches of the banyan tree for eating the figs. Different types of birds came. See, name of some of the birds are mentioned there. Which are they? Do you remember the names there? Of course, Aya. Ah, bull bull. Okay, bull bull. You know, we know this bird very well. The next one, Rosy Pastis. Rosy Pastis. Then crows, then some parrots, parrots coming to see parrots. And all of them came to the banyan tree. And the banyan tree, they were squabbling, make quarreling or making noises. And the banyan tree became the noisiest place on the world. So they became the noisiest place on the road. Okay. The boy made a platform, a platform on the branches of the banyan tree. He made a platform there on the branches of the banyan tree. And he was taking rust on the branches of the banyan tree and he made a platform there. And see, sitting there on the platform, he was reading books. Books of different types, different kinds. Which were they? We discussed Pressure Island, written by Robert Louis Stevenson, R. L. Stevenson. Then another one, the Adventures of Happy Marie of course, by the American writer Mark Twain. Then, next one, of course, Mowgli Stories, written by Rudyard Kipling's. Then, Tarzan Stories, written by Edgar Rice Burroughs. Tarzan and the Leopard Man, then Tarzan and the Lion Man, written by the same writer. Then, Louisa May Alcott's uh, novels, Little Demon. Then, Jack and Jill. By the same writer, Louisa May Alcott. And sitting there, he was reading books. And at times, he won't feels like not reading anything. Then he will look down, look down through the branches of the tree. When he looks down, what does he see there? He is sitting there and looking down. What does he see there? He sees grandmother hanging the cross and the cook quarreling with the fruit vendor. Quarreling with the fruit vendor. And grandfather, what was grandfather doing? Grandfather was grumbling over the overgrowth of this marigold, Indian marigold in English garden. Okay, that's it. So things were going quite naturally. So it became summer. It became summer. 
It was a very hot summer. It was a very hot summer. Summer afternoon. Grandparents and the cook all went inside. And the boy was sitting on the branches of the banyan tree. And it was at that time when he looked down, he had a very exciting experience. What was it? He saw a cobra. A cobra gliding smoothly, coming smoothly from the bushes. And it is searching for a cool place. Why? Because it is very hot. It is a very hot day. So, the hot sun is there. So, it is searching for a very cool place. It was at the same time, another one, another person came from the opposite one. Opposite side. Was it? The mongoose. See, the cobra came from one side and the mongoose from the opposite side. They came face to face. They came face to face. See? Face to face. Where was the boy? Boy was sitting on the branches of the tree. And there down the cobra and the mongoose. This going to become the battle of champions. See, this mongoose is a very experienced fighter. A superb fighter, we can say. A superb fighter. And the cobra knows it very well that mongoose is a superb fighter. But cobra too is a very skillful and experienced fighter. See, under its fangs, you know the fangs, under its fangs, there's, it is full of venom. His fangs means poisonous teeth. Under it, it has got venom. And with the speed of light, it can move. It can move quickly with the speed of light. So, it is going to become the fight of champions. It is going to become the battle of champions. Okay. Hissing defiance. His forked tongue darting in and out, the cobra raised three of his six feet off the ground and spread his broad, spectacled hood. Hissing defiance, hissing defiance. His forked tongue darting in and out, the cobra raised three of his six feet off the ground and spread his broad, spectacled hood. Hissing, you know, the hissing sound of the sound produced by the snake, you know it very well. Defiance. Defiance means challenging. Challenging someone. You come, I, I, I will just fight with you. Just come forward, come forward. Like you see, Malayalam, you can call Porvuli Narathuga. Challenging. His forked tongue. You might have seen the forked tongue. Look at it. Forked tongue. The tongue of the snake. Like a fork. Spoon and fork, you know. Like a fork. It's a darting in and out. Taking outside and putting pulling it back side. See, in and out. Darting in and out. And hissing defiance. Challenging. Look at the fangs. Look at the tongue. And it is ready to fight. Just asking the mongoos, you come forward. Are ready to fight. What does it do then? Raised three of his six feet off the ground. See, the total length of the snake, six feet. And three feet off the ground, away from the ground. See, look at it. Three feet. See, up the ground, above the ground. And then next. And spread his broad, spectacled hood. What do you mean by hood? You, are, you might have seen. What is it? Hood. This is hood. This part. This part is called hood. You know, hood of the. And spectacle. You know, spectacle. This is a spectacle. Spectacles. Okay, you know it? Spectacled hood means, look at, just to clock, have a close look at it. See the hood, on the hood there is a marking. There are some markings. Here, see, see the markings here. It is like a spectacle. It is like a spectacle. That is why it is called spectacled hood. Now, let us see the next one. The mongoose bushed his tail. Mongoose bushed his tail the long hair on his spine stood up in the past the very thickness of his hair had saved him from bites that would have been fatal to others fatal means deadly very dangerous the long hair on his spine stood up long hair long hair see like it, is, it, it became very thick like a bush the hair became very thick now and see on the spine also the hair stood up the hair stood up because of the thickness of the hair the mongoose escaped several times from 
death. Why? The cobra striking mongoose or the poisonous snakes strikes at a mongoose. So, because of the thickness, because of the thickness of the skin, because of the thickness of the hair, the mongoose escaped from death. If others got struck from the cobra, of course, it would have been fatal. Others might have died, but the mongoose saved from death several times because of the hair. Okay, now let's see. Next part, please. Though the combatants were unaware of my presence in the banyan tree, they soon became aware of the arrival of two other spectators. Though the combatants were unaware of my presence, who are combatants means who are engaged in battle. Two persons here. Who are they? One side mongoose and the other side has cobra. They were unaware of my presence because they were attacking each other. But where was the boy? Boy was sitting, see, on the platform. Both the mongoose and the cobra did not see the boy. But some are spectators. So what do you mean by the word spectators? See, spectators. What do you mean by the word spectators? Means watching, those who are viewing, those who are observing. If there is a game going on like a football or a cricket, something else, some persons will be sitting on the gallery and watching. They are called spectators. In the same way, the boy is on the branches of the banyan tree and two other persons also came to watch this battle. Who are they? One was a mina. One was a mina. And the other, a jungle crow. A jungle crow. Not the willy urban crow. Willy means cunning. Okay. See, who are they? One was a mina. Okay, you know this bird. Second was jungle crow. Not urban. Urban means, urban crow means city crow. City crows are very, very cunning. Very cunning. But jungle crow, very innocent. We will come, we will come to know the innocence. Then, they had seen these preparations for battle. And they had settled on the cactus to watch the outcome. Where are they sitting on the cactus? They are sitting on the cactus. And they are watching. They have been see them. They had seen the preparations for the battle. They had the, seen the preparations. So what preparations did they see? They had seen the preparations for the battle. They saw the preparations. So both of them are getting ready. One side cobra, other side mongoose. And they are getting ready. Now see. Boy is on the branches of the banyan tree and the see on one side there is a jungle crow, on the other side there is a mina. Both of them are sitting on the cactus and see they are watching the scene. And now, had they been condemned only to watch, all would have been well with the both of them. Had they been condemned, condemned means satisfied, happy, only to watch, all would have been well with both of them. If they had remained there, it would have been well for them. But what happened? They were not, they were in, interfering in the fight. In between they were coming. They were not mere see, spectators, simply watching. No, 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 not in line like that. They involved, they came forward. Okay, and they see, and it's because they came forward, because they see interfere with the fight, they had to suffer something. They, they, they lost something. There is a possibility that they may even lose their life. There is a possibility. You will see it later. Okay? Now, we will go to the next video. Okay?